mean, this is a team that's picked third preseason to finish in the Southern Conference. So besides some injuries to some key players, they're still trying to build and see what they can get with this group, even at our 5'7 stature. Laredo kicks out Agustinete. Yes. Hey, Agustinete. She throws the kiss, blowing it in the air. That's her fave. Coach Forger's offensive system, you know, is a good plug in setting screens and just plays solid defense, something that Georgia Tech needs, especially with the lack of post presence. Inez Laredo. Aguero listed at 5'7". That's one of the big challenges for Mercer tonight. It's not just the size in the front, but really the size among the guards that is so heavily in Georgia Tech's favor. Yeah, that is true. If she gets to the rim and gets close, it's, it's a, probably a 90% chance that she's going to finish. Aguero crossing over Noredo, wiggling through and finishing. Wow, Brianna Aguero. Against Nebraska, struggled a bit, only going... Only 6.7 rebounds in that game, but to get her going early. And Deja Williams cans a three. Mercer has not led since it was 2 0. And they've tied it. Stacey Jones. So she needs some time to develop her offensive game, but she loves her rebounding ability for this team. Also went 8 for 8 in the fourth quarter in free throws. Deja Williams hits the three. That's going to be something Coach Fortner wants to fix. Down the lane, and two, Keontae Downs. Mercer can find a way to get to halftime with it being single digits, but since Peguero left, Mercer's outscored Georgia Tech by four points now with that layup from Agustinata. They've hit seven of 11 shots after that last miss. Agustinata, oh yeah. And she's a player that can light it up. Mercer scoreless for nearly five minutes now. No more! <laughs> a two-point basket for Deja Williams, and it's a two-point game at half. Because it could just be basketball. I enjoyed that time myself because you only had one focus. Tony Morgan right out of the shoot, does it herself. All the little things for the tall Aisha won't out of eyes. Morgan crosses over the paint and fires it to Blackshear. There's two and a timeout coming from Mercer. And Augusta Nata. And Peguero's got it. Looking to race past and Augusta Nata with the physical swat. Yeah, she said not on this watch. You say you saw Peguero really being aggressive, but Augusta Nata was right there and then a nice finish in the paint by Blackshear. Good to see her getting her game going again because Georgia Tech's going to need her offensively to win this one tonight. And one, Keontae Downs. Six to shoot. It's going to have to be Downs. And she's got more. Keontae Downs with seven points. Tony Morgan. Her miss. Can't miss. Hey, and she is fired up. Agustinata is like, welcome to the club, the three point club. Nice shot by the freshman, Teramis. Well, hey, Teramis is shooting a better percentage than Agustinata. She's <laughs> she two is. for two this year. 100%. And an answer, Aspen Johnson. But it's a precarious moment in this game as Naredo left the floater short. Piguero back on the floor. And that time, it's Sarah Conta. Yeah, Sarah Conta ran the floor. Peguero found her, saw her, and Sarah Conta was able to get the finish. Georgia Tech with 22 points, shooting over 50% in the third quarter. Naredo, great feed from Blackshear. Yeah, great feed. Peguero with the ball in her hand again. Williams, a three. It's true. <laughs> Laredo, Blackshear, and an answer on the Yellow Jacket M. But that's something Mercer can't do if they want to cut into this lead. They can't exchange baskets with Georgia Tech. They have to get some stops. Tech is shooting 55% here in the second half, and a wow. three-pointer there from Deja Williams. Mercer trying to make their move. Sarah Conta directing Stacy Jones. A reverse! 
It's down to seven. And the rebound to Peguero. And that's not a shot Georgia Tech needed, even though they had the advantage and Augustinator was open. What a swing! Deja Williams, that is her fifth three tonight, and the lead is down to four. And just when you thought she was tired, Williams took a hard fall on the other end and then comes back, regroups, and hits a huge three for the Mercer Bears. Tony Morgan sizing up Williams with a response. The clock run here. Keontae Downs. That was just her first foul. She's got plenty to give. Noredo, a three. Bottom. And that's probably something she needs to see. Their defense betrayed them in the second half against Nebraska. It won the game tonight in the fourth quarter as Tech snaps a two-game losing streak and collects their sixth win of the season.